Uh, Ms Robeson, um, do you still stand by what you said in Parliament? There's no evidence predatory men have ever had to, ca to pretend to be anything else to carry out abusive behaviour. We've just had the case today of Andrew Miller. Do you still stand by what you said last year? Well, the vast majority of trans people are just wanting to get on with their lives. Of course, what we're talking about here are people who have committed very serious crimes. Now, I wouldn't want to talk about the, the case because it's still ongoing, but clearly anyone... He's admitted the offences. Well, anyone who has committed an offence is an offender and should be treated as such. But we should not, because we wouldn't do this with any other community, take those cases of offenders and and imply that somehow that is an issue for the rest of the trans community. No, you said there is no is evidence not. predatory men have ever had to pretend to be anything else to carry out abusive behaviour. Well, and then we've got the case of Andrew well, Miller. Well, clearly this is a predatory man who has carried out offending behaviour and should be treated as such. But what I'm saying he's is... He's identifying as a woman when he lured the girl into his well, car. he is clearly a predatory man who has committed an offence and should be treated as such. What we shouldn't do, though, is to treat the rest of the trans community in the same light, and that is, would be utterly wrong. We would not do that with any other community. Thanks very much.